So we've talked a little bit about the Sun Belt expansion and the AAC expansion, and we hit on MAC expansion, etc. And we talked about the. It seemed like it was uh, it was inevitable that the MAC was going to bring in Western Kentucky and Middle Tennessee State, and now it appears that Middle Tennessee State may actually hold off on joining the MAC, and the reason for this is they are looking at a, a pretty decent-sized payday from the buyouts from all of the teams that are leaving Conference USA to join these other conferences, there is no stability anymore with Conference USA at this point. And, and the Conference USA TV deal is pretty terrible, but the buyout money could be uh, relatively sizable for a school of that size, right? Yeah, Western Kentucky, it has been reported that the MAC is not going to take Western Kentucky by themselves. Western Kentucky is part of a package deal. They will bring in both of them, but they won't bring in just one. So MTSU is holding up Western Kentucky from being able to join the MAC because they might be able to get a pretty sizable buyout, and then maybe they will go to the MAC later on. If you're the MAC... What do you think about this? And then if you are Middle Tennessee, where like what are your thoughts on this? Like Because there are uh, people in leadership positions that think that they should grab the buyout and then try and go to the MAC afterwards. I'm, I'm not so certain that I wouldn't jump at the, the steady conference immediately because I know that it is uh, like I know it's a possibility right now. I don't know that this doesn't piss off the MAC. So I'm, I'm curious your thoughts on, on both sides of it. This is, this is where people are really bad at business relationships, Gary. This is where you just be honest. You pick up the phone, you call Western Kentucky, you call the conference commissioner of the MAC, and you say, guys, Western Kentucky and I are about to be the last people standing, and all these blokes have to pay like $3 million to leave here, okay? So we're going to split 1.5 times all of these teams leaving. We haven't made that much money in 20 years combined, Okay. So we're going to take this check. We're going to split it up between us two and two or three other, you know, also rands that are getting left hanging. And then we'll come see you if you want to do that deal then. But why would I do it now and piss away all this money for stability? Gary, there is no stability. That, that I, I will tell you this. That if you think the Mac is stable today, you, you have not paid attention to college football in the last five years. Okay. Uh, Nothing hey, you're, you're, you're not wrong. Nothing's, Nothing's guaranteed. Stay around. Get that. This is just smart business. But it, you don't you don't you don't piss people off that are about to be your business partners. You just tell them, hey, I'm a, you know, I want to I want to do this deal. You know, yeah, like, but, that, but I need to do it this, later. Okay, let's let's say let's say for instance, you get a pretty sizable tax advantage once you get married, right? Right. If you got a wife that says, I am married to getting married. The first weekend in January. You'd be like, baby, I really think December 28th is a better time to do this. <laughs> because we get the tax write-off for the whole year, even though we've only been married for two days. Okay? Like, like this is just, but you just have a conversation. This is just smart business then. You don't, you don't have to piss somebody off or rub a relationship the wrong way. And if you're the commissioner of the MAC, and you don't understand what they're trying to do and why they're trying to do it, then you're not a good partner that I want to partner with anyway. If, if, if you can't allow me to make an extra $5 million at a program where $5 million will carry us for two decades of our, of our costs, then, then you're not a business partner that I want to be in with because you don't understand what, what we are, what kind of tax bracket we are in MTSU. You're not the partnership we need. Yeah, it does make absolutely perfect financial sense when you think about it, right? Because all I, mean, the, I can fix. I, I swear to God, this is why I wish I could be an athletic director. So many of these things I can fix. All these problems you can solve, and I'm not magic, by the way. Someone just has to have a ball to pick up the phone. Let's have a Zoom call between the athletic director and the president of of Western Kentucky and the conference commissioner of the MAC. And and in ten minutes, I'm going to lay out all the all financials of why this is a good deal. In Western Kentucky, why are you getting pissed off? You're getting the same check I'm about to get, okay? <laughs> and if the Mac don't want us because we made them wait an extra six months, 
then that ain't the partnership we want. All right. If th- if we're thinking this is going to be a lifetime partnership here, okay, then then why are you upset about six months? Yeah, no, you're you're not wrong because the the payout from those other teams is going to pay for the buyout for Middle Tennessee State and and Western Kentucky. Hang on. They, the Western Kentucky and Middle Tennessee State might not even have to pay a buyout by then because the damn conference can dissolve because there ain't enough members. Well, remember they are calling like Conference USA is still going to be around, but the contract might change because remember they're bringing That's in right. Liberty. Well, no, we have to have a new contract. Yeah, I mean, it'll have to be a new contract because they, they are bringing in Liberty, Sam Houston, Jacksonville State, and I'm, I'm forgetting somebody. But uh, I'm, cer- I'm certain there are clauses in the, in the thing that basically say if so much transition takes place, then you can't, like, then it's not just uh, an addendum to a contract or something of that nature. Like, it, we basically are starting a new company, okay? If, if, if more than 30% changes, then you know either bringing in or or leaving or whatever. Then then at some point in time, the old contract is basically worthless. Yeah. It comes null and void, and and we have to draw up new bylaws completely. And you get a say in those new bylaws, even though you know you're leaving. You can kind of make that next buyout not so bad on you. Yeah, yeah, I I'm with you. I'm with you. So I do think. Uh, it does make financial sense, and it's that it's the constant argument, right? Security, or what you think is security, or a quick financial gain, right? Which Anybody do you take? doing anything for security right now is a fool, because security is a phantom gift. It is, it is a farce, it is a mirage. You don't have security in anything in life right now at all. You might have the most stable job in the world. Tomorrow with a phone call, it could be gone. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.